Let's know another theorem which may be useful to us. It says let A and B be two events associated with a random experiment. So you have two events given to you. And let S be the sample space. If C is another event or if C is an event such that probability of C is not equal to 0, it might be 0 0.1 but it cannot be 0, then this is the theorem which is useful. Probability of A union B whole over C is equal to what? First you will write probability of A upon C, then you will write probability of B with respect to C, these two you can just derive from here only and last but not the least just as we had probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B similar to that when there is union probability of A will be there, B will be there, you will just have in the denominator C. So here also in the denominator C and here also then probability with subtraction sign A intersection B here also just C in the denominator. So C is just a simply event. But now if I write that my A and B are sample uh, are mutually exclusive events. These events which are given to you are mutually exclusive. If I put this condition that A and B are mutually exclusive event that means the intersection part would be 0. So the answer to probability A union B with respect to C is equal to probability A with respect to C plus probability B with respect to C because their intersection part would come out to be 0. That is why they are said to be mutually exclusive. So this is definitely not irrelevant to us only we saw in set theory if A and B was two sets and I used this to derive the formula above one and for the below one mutually exclusive definition is enough. So this is how we do it and you have to learn this theorem.